is a pro uh, project. Its the name is about the image stitching with the Ransack because uh, image stitching for our panorama is very important and have a lot of the applications in our day lives and in different research area. I'll have four um, uh, main points we need to introduce in here. The first is the key point detector about the SIFT. The second is the computer transforms between uh, two pictures. Find the, and uh, the third one is the final homography with RANSEC. It's very important for the project. Stitching and the fourth step, uh, the fourth is the stitching images with center sequence. It's a good strategy to combination of many pictures in, in different in these, in these methods. We have three steps. The first is we will stitch two images. Then we will stitch images in sequence. And um, finally, we will compare our result with the PDGOI. A uh, PDGOI is a, a, is a non-profit and is, is a non-free uh, business software. And uh, in SIFT, uh, about the SIFT, uh, first we will get a difference of the goals so that, so, that's, so that we can get a clear age of the picture. And uh, we will to assign a, a scale for each key point uh, in the, in, uh, so that we can get a, uh, get a, a grain and the gradient as gray gradient and direction for each key point. Then we will set a gradient threshold as the, is the minimum threshold. So we will to get a filter. Then if we set a ratio threshold, we will get a much better uh, a key point result. For each key point, we will to get and to use a key point descriptor to explain it. To it to explain it what happened around the key point in each scale. Uh, this is eight directions, and uh, actually in the code it will shows in eight number in eight, eight uh, float numbers. Um, then uh, we use the key point and the descriptor uh, to detect these example pictures in here. Then we will can find this object using the key point. Even if hide beside behind if this object is behind some object, we can still find them. In the second example is we will use these example pictures and these example pictures is get a rotation. And finally we can still get uh, we can use the key point and a detector to find this object in this um, big picture, a complex environment picture. And it was more the, the sys is also said it's work very efficient. In here we will talk about the computer transform. Actually uh, we need to if we want to stitch two images, we need to do some translation, the early and just get some mutation, the similarity to get a scale different and the affinity to get some distortion and the projective is just like we look at the pictures in different angle. We just list all the um, transform metrics in here. We want to say just uh, we just want to say the projective uh, the homo uh, is about the homography metrics. Um, this is we will talk about why we just need to use the four points we can get the homography. Um, because the in the projective process it only has eight degree of freedoms and the 2D point has two degree of freedoms components and each key point 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 to point correspondence account for two constraints. This is the reason we only need four point correspondence for finding the homography. And uh, well, the ransack part, yes, is very important because if we, we need four point to get a uh, four paired point to get a uh, right homography so that we can stitch the picture, uh, the images together very well. But you, we can see the rate mark, it means the key point pair is, is wrong. So how we will get the right uh, descriptor, uh, uh, right uh, the homography matrix? Mm. We will use the ransack loop. First, we will set, we will choose four, uh, randomly choose four feathers pair, a key point, and we will compute the homography matrix, and we will compute the early distance between the, the two, the pair of the, uh, the key point, and we will set a, what's more, we will set a threshold. So when we, when it is less, uh, smaller than threshold, the pair of the matrix. This is the homography matrix, and this is the in layer. If we think it's smaller than the threshold, we think we said it was a uh, in layer point. 
Then we will recompute it again. We will get a lot of the homography matrix. We will choose the, bit, the most one. We get the most numbers of the in layer pair of key point. So we will choose the homography as the final transform homography matrix. This is our result about to getting two images to get to the key point and do the uh, RANSEC uh, uh, key point matching. And uh, this is our strategy we use to stitch in pictures. Why we use like that? Because if we stitch pictures, continue to the first plane, images plane, it will get a lot of destroy, uh, distortion. So we, at most, we can stitch four pictures in here. But if we use our the center sequence uh, strategy, we can get, we can stitch more pictures together. Even as these are five pictures, even six pictures is also okay. And this is our result to compare with the PTGUI, the, is, because it's is, um, is a free version, so we'll get some stickers in here. This is our version, it looks very good, almost very good, but it still have some result. For example, we do not do the blending process for now, because it, look, it not looks uh, very smooth for, uh, for the uh, age between the different pictures. We will do it better, in the, uh, we will do it later in the future process, uh, our project.